and welcome to this edition of the Why I Like Mike podcast. I'm your host, Mason Gordon, and once again, I'm joined by Rushville's Mayor, Mike Pavey. How are you doing, Mike? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Mason? Good. I think we are both finally free of the colds, and we're ready for spring, and, and we've, we've got this, that thing whipped. You know, we're good to go. I think so. Yeah. I think we're, we, I, I feel as well as I felt in two months. Good deal. Good deal. Well, um, on all of our, our episodes, we've, we've done a lot of talk about um, what your vision is for the city of Rushville, and quality of life improvements has been a major priority of your administration. Um, start off, I think sometimes it's hard to understand why quality of life improvements are important, why trails and parks and all those things are important. So why, in your mind, are those trails, parks, quality of life initiatives important to the future of the city of Rushville? Well, I think, I think it's well-founded um, that especially the younger generation and even even those that are in retirement age quality of life is is something that they're really focused on and so they are selecting where they live based on the quality of life um, and so that that's where it just becomes much more important than I think it has been in the past I think in the past we did the more traditional thing of found a job and then that's where we lived and mm -hmm. and now I think with with more versatile uh, employment options. People have decided that they're going to go live somewhere that they enjoy living, and then they're going to, to find a job, either in that location or work remotely. So that's why quality of life is is a big thing. Now we all, I think, also want more jobs to come to Rushville. Do quality of life initiatives affect businesses locating to our city and maybe choosing the industrial park um, for the future of their business? They do. Um, we have found that. When we do a site visit, it, it's kind of interesting. You do site visits, and there's there's different kinds of site visits. Mm -hmm. and people might, people who um, don't have much experience in this area, would find it interesting that some of the times the um, the site visit will be really focused on employment and employment numbers and and maybe even logistics. And then we've had some before where the the company will call and say. We'll do all that research. We really don't need you doing that. We just want you to tell us about the quality of life. And, and, I, and I will tell you, it's, it's not uncommon at all for us to deal with a company that'll say, um, you could potentially get eliminated and you might get eliminated just because we don't feel the quality of life is in your community. We'll draw enough of our executives to your community and, and thus we'll struggle with, with, em, with employees and, and that just basically means that if a, you know an executive or your guys that are working you know on the line, if it's a if it's a line situation, if we feel that the quality of life isn't good enough and that they're going to have to drive, you know a, whatever, let's say thirty or forty miles or fifteen miles, mm -hmm. if they don't feel like quality of life is is good enough, they're eventually going to they're going to go to where they're living, and so they're they're going to have high high employee turnover. So. Knowing that, that's why we continue to uh, make investments in improving the quality of life. I think it's especially huge in, in folks my age, kids my age. You know, I've, I've got two um, roommates who are looking to move, um, look, looking to start careers after this year at Purdue, and all of them, both of them are talking about the, the towns in which they're going to get to live in, the cities which they're going to get to live in, and what those cities bring to the plate. And so that's why I think it's, it's ultra important for quality of life as well. That's all for this episode of the Why I Like Mike podcast. Until next time, please like and share this episode with your friends and family on Facebook page. Please visit the Vote Pavey for Mayor Facebook page. And if you can't make it to the polls on May the 7th, early voting is open. Please visit the courthouse to cast your ballot or apply for an absentee ballot. This public awareness podcast has been brought to you by the I Like Mike Election Committee.